Hi guys, uh, Mr. Bouchard here, and I'm here to continue the notes on um, 1-3, all right, which is converting metric units, all right, it's the second part of the metric measurement um, notes, all right, so we're going to continue on with the PowerPoint where we left off, all right, let me just move myself out of the way here, okay, um, all right, so anyway, what we're going to be doing today is converting metric units, all right, uh, between centi, milli, et cetera, all right, you guys know. Um, so we're gonna start out with what's called the ladder, all right, and this is an easy way uh, to try to figure out how, to, how many places to move the decimal point, all right? So we're gonna look at um, how many decimal places to move. So the first one is gonna be kilo, uh, hecta, or hecto, sorry, uh, deca, and then basic unit, you're gonna have gram, liter, and meter, all right? So they're all gonna fall under basic unit. And then you go down the list, then it's deci, centi, and then finally, milli. All right, and then you're gonna say, how do I use this, okay? So this is a pretty simple uh, concept. Um, I'm gonna start out with a really basic one. All right, so let's go from a thousand meters. All right, and let's figure out how many kilometers that is. All right, so what you're going to do first, you're going to find where you see meters on there, which is where it says basic unit. And you're going to find where kilometers is. And what you're going to do is you're going to count how many places to get from one to the other. So we're going to start here. And we go up one stair, two stairs, three stairs. And we move to the left. We're going to do the same thing with the decimal point. So if we have a thousand, the decimal point is here. So we're just going to slide it one, two, three places to the left. And the answer is 1.0 kilometers. Okay? So 1,000 meters is equal to one kilometer. Okay? All right, another example. Let's do 350 centimeters is equal to how many meters? Okay, so once again, find your uh, prefix, right? So in this case, it's centi. All right, and we are going to the basic unit, which is meter. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two places to the left with that jump. So once again, you could write your number. That's what I always do and then jump one, two places to the left, and the answer is 3.5 meters. Okay, let's do another example where we go the opposite direction. Okay, so the next one, 75 meters. And I am going to convert to centimeters. Sorry, I just wanna box this out of the way. Okay, so same thing, find meters, which is right here in the middle and I want to go to centimeters. Okay, I'm going to go down the stairwell this time. So one, two places to the right with the decimal. So you're going to do the same thing here. Write your number. Start with the decimal at the end of the number. One, two places, and if there's nothing in the jumps, you have to add zeros. So the answer for this one is 7,500 centimeters. So 75 uh, meters is equal to 7,500 uh, centimeters, all right? So that's how you do that, all right? And just one more example, all right? And I think I did this in uh, your handout the other day on metric measurements, but say I had 45 centimeters and I wanna go to millimeters, all right? So this is a real simple one. It's just one jump to the right. So that's equal to 450 millimeters because you're moving once to the right adding the zero. All right, so hopefully you guys get that. Um, we're gonna do some examples in class and hopefully uh, you can get that down. A quick little way to remember this, kilo, hecta, deca, uh, gram, liter, meter, basic unit, deci, centi, milli, all right? This is the way I remember it. King Henry's daughter, Ursula drinks chocolate milk. All right, and you're gonna say, what? Okay, well, king, kilo, hecto for Henry, daughter would be deca, 
Unit is going to be Ursula. Drinks, that's Desi. Chocolate is Senti. And then lastly, milk is Millie. I wanted to make sure uh, got in there. So basically, it's a quick little way that's called a mnemonic device, a way to remember uh, the same, all right, and what prefixes are in order. So you guys can write that out on a test situation, all right, if you remember this statement and uh, use it to your advantage and do the jumps, all right. So we're going to do more practice with this. Um, thank you guys for tuning in, and hopefully uh, this becomes clear as we practice it.